My name is Gary Drake. I'm a detective for uh, Squamish Police Department. I really don't have a real typical day. Um, I believe we were doing surveillance uh, on a house fairly close to the the uh, fire fire address that day. When I found out whose house it was, knowing that the person that lived there was in a wheelchair, um, quite frankly, uh, uh, you know, he doesn't move around very well at all. Um, I got kind of uh, kind of concerned at that point knowing that we were probably the closest people there. Uh, we broke surveillance and headed to, in that direction. Pretty infrequent that we respond to fire calls. Um, that's, we'll re normally respond and provide traffic control or assistance to the fire department or deal with family members or you know, residents who are upset. My first uh, view of it was that you know, it, was, it was a full fire going on in there um, and that nobody else was really that close at the time. Uh, first thing I did is I went to the front door I, um, I probably pushed the front door open and called for, called for the gentleman that lives in there. Uh, I couldn't see him at first. I just entered the house. Um, I saw him moving through the, one of the hallways there, and he was very disoriented. Uh, Detective Drake basically picked up the wheelchair and the elder, and uh, for lack of a better word, uh, swiftly and effectively took that entire unit outside of the residence. I could see flames inside there. Uh, there was a lot of smoke, a lot of smoke coming through there. Uh, so I didn't know exactly how bad the fire, actual fire was or where it was centrally located um, just because of the smoke. And we absolutely carry fire extinguishers in our units and uh, the, I believe that Detective Drake used uh, his and then uh, was able to get uh, additional uh, fire extinguishers from other responding units. and use those effectively in the residence. I could see flames inside there. Uh, there was a lot of smoke, a lot of smoke coming through there. Uh, so I didn't know exactly how bad the fire, actual fire was or where it was centrally located um, just because of the smoke. And once I uh, entered the room, I kind of just put my shirt up over my face, kept low, uh, trying to stay under the majority of the smoke. At, at this time, I could see where the flames were coming from. Uh, I moved a big chair uh, out of the way to, so that the flames wouldn't get to it. Cleared it to make sure that the uh, no one, no other kids or anything were hiding. He was able to keep the fire at bay and uh, suppressed and then the fire department was eventually able to get on scene and you know do their normal cleanup work but yes he was effectively able to uh, put the fire out. There was uh, some pretty substantial damage but uh, thanks to Detective Drake the residence is still standing and the elders still live in there. No, not really. I think uh, almost any officer on the scene probably would have done pretty close to the same thing. The council and the community as a whole were extremely pleased uh, with the actions of Detective Drake uh, in this incident. Uh, obviously, you know, saving the life of a tribal elder and saving his residence and uh, his belongings 